One of the leading health concerns for seniors is falling, which is often related to balance issues. Here to share some ways you can help prevent falls and improve your balance is Leah Seacrest, owner of Seacrest Fitness Company. Good morning, Leah. We have kind of an unprecedented situation, unprecedented. It's morning. I can't say the word precedent. I will forgive you. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you. Anyways, we've got an exciting segment ahead, but I want to hear first a little bit about you. Tell me what you do and who you work for and all that good stuff. Absolutely. Well, thank you so much for having me. It's always a pleasure to see you. Um, I'm Leah Seacrest, and um, I represent actually Seacrest Fitness Company, which I'm excited about. Um, and I've been in the fitness industry for about 20 years. So truly what I've been for my entire career as an advocate for healthy living. Um, obviously, my niche is fitness. Um, I love to teach all types of classes. And really, that ranges from the young you know, to the older population and just really trying to motivate them to get active, stay moving, which I think is extremely important, um, so that we continue, can continue to live a healthy life. Awesome. Well, we're here to kind of talk about some balancing exercises. Um, obviously, p fall prevention is kind of a significant issue, especially for seniors. Right. So let's not waste any time. Let's get down to it. I'm going to get out of your way. Absolutely. And I want you to show our viewers some things that they can do to help their balance and so that yes. they're preventing some potentially dangerous situations. Right. So. And just to reiterate how serious it is, we know it's a fact that one in three adults age 65 and older will fall. And so um, with hip fractures being 90% um, of those being attributed to mm -hmm. falling, it is important that balance is something that seniors work on um, because it becomes a very vicious cycle. Yep. Um, if you don't have great balance, then you become less active. If you're less active, then you don't have great balance. So it's definitely one of those things that it's like many things in life, you got to use Necessity, it yeah. or you're going to lose it. Absolutely. Um, so um, what we've done today is we're just taking a prop like a chair, but you can really do any of these exercises just at your kitchen counter or anything like that. That makes it easy. Simple. Yeah, absolutely. And if you can take 10 minutes outside of your day to dedicate to balance training, that's really all it takes. Okay. So we're going to use a chair here for stability, um, and we can place both hands on top at for, first, and then all we're going to do is take our leg out to the side. So you can actually make this a leg lift, okay, but then to make it more of a challenge, we can actually hold the leg out and shift that weight into one leg to balance on that one leg. Um, if that is too much for you, if you feel a little bit shaky, we can always start a little bit smaller by tapping that foot out to the side. Perfect. Okay? So you want to make sure that you're challenging yourself but not doing too much. You obviously want to make sure that you shift and do the other side as well. To make it harder once you, um, you know, uh, once you uh, complete an exercise and you're like, wow, I've got this, make it a little harder by maybe not holding on with both hands, holding on with one. Mm -hmm. um, one thing that can affect um, our balance is our eyesight, mm -hmm. our vision, which sometimes is definitely something that seniors um, battle with, and or medications also can, can, um, can affect balance. So we can shift um, the balance training by um, even closing one eye, okay, to huh. make it a little more challenging. That's, that's interesting. Or even closing both eyes, you'll actually be very um, surprised at how much more of a challenge mm -hmm. it makes balancing. But what we're going to do, I know we on, we've only gone one way, so we're going to go this way, and then let's challenge ourselves also by taking the movement forward and back, okay? See, I'm kind of nervous I'm going to fall. Right, yeah. So you need a chair. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> Always opt for something stable right. in front. Absolutely. If you feel like you can go hands hands free, hey mom, no hands, yeah. then cool. Um, but Probably again, me. front and back, and then we can make it even more of a challenge by raising up through the leg as well. Now, life doesn't happen in one motion, right? Because walking in itself mm -hmm. is a balancing act. So make sure that you also do exercises that take us laterally. So if we step side to side, you know, that can be a great way 
to make sure that you're training yourself mm -hmm. in that lateral plane of motion. Um, to That's make pretty sure easy. You, yeah, absolutely. Another great exercise, if you want to call it an exercise, is just the motion of getting up and down out of a chair. Mm -hmm. Sometimes seniors can have a hard time just with that. And so this particular chair I like because it has the handles on the side. So if I were to sit here and if I needed something to help me with stability, I can use the handles here to help myself up, Perfect. obviously wanting to go towards not needing any help mm -hmm. at all. Um, there's a particular exercise from the chair that's great if you can practice getting up, walking maybe a few feet, turning around, coming back to the chair and doing that exercise again is a great way um, for you to, to practice that motion. Well, again, I think it's so important to also point out that these are all simple exercises that you can do from home. It's nothing right. super complicated um, and it's easily accessible just Absolutely. because you can use a chair, you know, that's, that's And the in. greatest thing is, is you're gonna gain some, um, you know, some great benefit out of staying active. So mm -hmm. if you can find um, exercise formats that are appealing to you, touch it, such as Tai Chi, or yoga, um, taking a walk, mm -hmm. um, water aerobics, um, anything, you know, that gets you moving, balance is going to be improved, but you can definitely take just simple exercises like this, again, 10 minutes out of your day, you know, to work on it um, at home. Awesome. Well, we know you own a company, and I think you even have a website that we're going to be posting, but if somebody wants to reach you, maybe they have more questions, or do you offer personal training? Yes, I do. Okay, great. Yes, great. I absolutely do. So if somebody has do. questions and maybe wants to sign up to have you train them, I don't know, you kind of scare me a little bit. You're kind of, <laughs> you're kind of hardcore. I'm not, I'm not sure about that. Um, well, it depends on what the client needs. Sure. If they need, so you know, hardcore. And... <laughs> right, absolutely. Great. Then we can be. Yeah, absolutely. But again, what is your website for our viewers if they want to? If they would like to reach me, it is www.seacrestfitnesscompany, all spelled out. Com. Awesome. Do you have a Facebook page as well? I do have a Facebook page Because everybody's on Facebook, well. even my grandma. So. <laughs> Mine too. Yes, <laughs> absolutely. They can find me there as well. Awesome. Well, again, thank you so much. Unprecedented thing that we've done. I'm really excited we had an opportunity to do this. I think a lot of people are going to really benefit from some of the exercises you showed today. So. so so just move. That's yes. always what it boils down to. Awesome. Well, thank you so much, Leah, for joining us. We really appreciate thank it. Thank you.